Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum as we are heading into a new trading week here. I just need to take out these alerts. There you go. So <clears throat> as we're heading into a new trading week, um, it's going to be an interesting week. Looking forward to it. We've got the interest rate decision and we've got um, inflation data coming out. Still view this as a WXY structure. No change to previous videos. So the context remains the same. So we just jump right into the lower degree wave count and we have reached again the resistance area ADA continues uh, ADA. Ethereum continues to push higher in a very corrective fashion so again we talked about this could be an ABC structure here um, possibly the ABC that you can see here would be the larger A then the B wave here and maybe we're pushing higher now in an ending diagonal in a C wave um, Whatever the subwave count is of this correction, the ideal scenario would be that price stays below 1791. A break above 1791 would unlock prices, I think, into the next resistance area all the way up to 1860. But it would not necessarily be bullish. But just be aware, as soon as we see an impulse here to the upside, and at the moment I don't see one, okay, this looks corrective still. Yeah. Um, as soon as we see an impulse to the upside, we can explore if a low has been made for, for Ethereum because ETH has come down low enough. All we wanted was a low below the 12th of May low. I still think if it follows this count, it should go sort of around to around the 1660 area. I would like that. It would be ideal from a structural point of view, price target point of view, but it doesn't need any more lows. I think a larger bounce is due here. Before that, however, and as long as I don't see an impulse, I would expect a few squiggles lower and ideally here to the golden ratio at 1660. If we just zoom in again, you can see here resistance for the wave four. Um, also here, you know, if this really is an ending diagonal in wave C, it could get one more high. Or if it's a WXY, it might have topped already. Either way, it has reached the ideal target for such a C wave in a wave four. So the wave four is typically um, looking for the target at the 38.2 retracement that was reached. And if it now breaks below the B wave low here at 1725, it could head down lower in a wave five and hit that 1660 area. Yeah, so I'll keep you updated, but there is not much more to add at this stage. Um, we I want to have another look at the daily RSI because I still would like the RSI to go a little lower. So if we go to the daily RSI, it's still fairly high and it's lower than it was in May and April. It's only at 38. I mean, only. Yeah, I'd like to get, get it a little lower, at least closer to what it was on the 10th of March when we had the last time a bit of a spike to the upside. OK, so you can certainly push a little lower. Um, Round about 32, 33 value would be good. And if price then is higher than the 10th of March, which was down here around 1370, which should be achievable, then this would be quite a bullish sign. So still waiting here at the moment for a completion of the correction. At the moment, I have no strong signs, but I think we have a very volatile week ahead of us. It will be interesting. And I hope you all have a great start to the new week. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.